Hello, Nanak here. Welcome back to Path of Exile. We are playing in the Bestiary League with a Spectral Shield Throw Bar. Juggernaut. We have arrived in you the foothills. You will be a survivor, or you will be food. So let's see if this episode we can make it all the way to the Corrupted Trinity. Or if that's gonna require another one. By the way, seem to be making pretty good progress here. Also, there are some beasties to capture here. That's just kind of useful. Uh, let's see. False Fallen, Hill Devil. Yep, I don't have you yet. Now I do. Avalanche Rider, that's a kind of bull. You have yep. been captured, beast. Okay. You will be a survivor, or you will be fooled. I think, I think those vultures also had another variation. Though waypoint means boiling lake. Uh, basilisks. I suspect there's going to be beasties here as well. Oh look, silver spawns. Okay, you're just a white silver spawn. That's okay. Ah, of course then. The yellow one approaches. You have been captured, beast. Good. You will be a survivor, or you that's a waste lurcher. I guess that's the uh, big version. Sulfuric scorpions. Okay, got that one. Hey, bleached crawler. Ah, I was too slow. You will be a survivor, or you will okay. be Grab you. Cool. Prepared for the end. Uh, I think I might need more nets. There's a surprising amount of beasties here. I did this not expect to see that I many bleached crustaceans. Okay. That one is also captured. This one is captured. I know. And to my recollection, the Basilisk was not a god. It was actually just a Basilisk. So we might be able to capture that one as well. That's, uh, I'm not entirely sure of it, so I'll have to see. Okay. So for Striders, ah, they were also in the... Uh, in the Pee Wee Royale event. They're surprisingly tough if you and don't do any damage. Orb of Alchemy. I mean much they're relatively much tougher than say zombies or Roas. Ah, another yellow. Got you. Aha. Oh, that's actually upper level. It's difficult to see that, that there's a height difference. It, it could just be some, some ground uh, decoration. Here you see that, that that's actually a height. Here, don't see it as much. Interesting little detail. Okay. Should be getting to the statues relatively soon. Oh, hello there. Brutal eyes. I've got a shocking surprise for you. And oh, look at that. Another ah, too slow. Then this one is captured. Killed the yellow, I captured the white. That's just double bad. I mean it, it's a waste, right? It's not bad, but it's it's a waste. Okay, Gloom Kill, you are mine. Ooh, and an actual proper Bestiary yellow. The deep one's present. Ooh, that is a useful mod. So it's always nice to get those. So, yeah, water based yellows. This might not be a bad place to uh, try and farm them. Ah, and here we have the statues. And I still have enough traps to see if we can capture 
Maar zelfs een bos. Light is... Oké. Okay. Oh, you. Wow. Really is a high amount of yellow. Just regular yellow mobs here. Oké. Okay. You look a little out of place, but... Not judging. Oké. Okay. Uh, my golem. Someone murdered my golem. Nearly there. There we are. Yes, capturable. So. Annoying thing about the basilisk is, of course, you don't want to look at the basilisk when it's doing its uh, staring eye uh, thing on you. Because then you get petrified, as basilisks usually do. Okay, also it's, it's relatively sturdy. Okay, I think we can trap it now. Ah, that misjudged it. It had like 1% health remaining. So now we need to wait for it to be a little less angry, a little uh, less Super Saiyan mode. Actually, just gonna put the totem on the other side here. Okay, I think it's. I think the uh, effect is gone now. And then try it again. Oh, seriously? Are you kidding me? Okay, time to step up our game. Let's switch to a slightly higher tier trap. I mean, if it escapes with like one percent health, then we just need better traps. So, are you done with your Super Saiyan mode? I think so. Nope. Yep. See? Trap. Yes. Yes. Gotcha. Well, that took some effort. Got it, but it, it took some effort. But I did earn a new recipe, and that is always nice. Okay, so then we are done in this area. We can go back to town. Yes. Let's see, just empty some of pockets. See. Like that. I think we were stuck with an egg for a little while. And then we have the foothills and we had uh, Fastest Fortuna, there was this pool demon I think we had to, the general thing somewhere on the left hand side that had it. And then of course I gotta get out of the area. There, Boulderback, hey you are beastie, look at that. Also, yes, that was a lot easier. Bulldog, magic granite flask with of staunching. Okay. You are well prepared for the end. This is a tier three talisman. Cool. I'm slowly getting more and more of the recipes that don't involve rolling mods on rares, which is nice. Let's see. Yeah. Just need to be close enough to the edge and then I could teleport off. You there. A moment of your time. Ooh, look at that. It's almost like an army that's just descending on me here. Getting a little bit of a, a serious Sam vibe. That's also just no desert setting, just endless waves of, of monsters. That was, of course, a, a shooter, but well, same idea still applies. Somebody want me to do? Q 
keep a target on low life and you want me to backtrack. You know what? Do it yourself. I'm done with you. Uh, instead, we're just gonna go into the tunnel. Okay, then in the tunnel there was a trial. Yes. I knew there was something in the tunnel, even though it doesn't actually... Uh, Say it, but it was the it was the tunnel. I think last time I actually missed it and I had to backtrack. Okay, that's a decent uh, decent amount of damage coming in here. So how is my regen? Only 400. Well, that is the the fun thing, of course, about that that regen that is keeps stacking. The longer you manage to hold out, the more higher your regen is gonna stack. Holy holy, this is this is insane. Okay, I understand there's people that play the game like this all the time. I think I would go absolutely spasming mental. This is just... This is just too fast to be comfortable. Well, this is just breaking the game to just ludicrous speeds. Also, very difficult to capture Beastie. Actually, difficult to capture the beastie. I, I threw it at full health and then I could take it. Ah, we're back to a comfortable comfortable speed. Okay, Crimson Dance, I have you. And a waypoint, I also have you. Okay, so then we have a, a trial. I hope we'll run into it. Otherwise, I'll just uh, backtrack to it, I think. I mean, there is, I think there was still a, an Act 10 trial uh, that was in uh, the way, so that doesn't really matter too much. Ah. At least I'm, I'm happy I'm back to a relaxed speed. I mean, this is still pretty fast for a build, but I mean, for my builds, uh, let, let's caveat that. Uh, Appropriately, so this one goes up to 64. So then the cast with damage taken can also go up on tier. Uh, it, it started running out a little bit. Okay, one quarry. Okay, so from here we have a uh, waypoint in the center, and Sin will be waiting for us there to uh, combine all the ingredients that we've been uh, been so intelligently gathering you are not a beastie so you can just die like that and there we have one waypoint so well then on one side we have a ozone in a side area who's being uh, captured by a wind goddess with lots of tornadoes and on the other side we have a, a factory of sorts that holds the uh, trident powder so let's see, what are we finding first? Refinery, okay, so we'll go and go powder first. Which actually is not too bad, because then we can portal back and we can hand in the... Uh hey, where's my egg? Or the, the best luck venom. Maybe we already gave it to Sin. I must say, I actually didn't keep track of what he took from me. Strong iron nets, that is good. It's level 63 area, so it still works here. And every net you find is one you don't have to buy, and that always makes me happy. Uh, yeah. oh, we're still now 67 versus 63, four levels ahead. Lightning constructs. I like the look of those lightning constructs. They just look funny. Would make excellent pets. Maybe not that that size. This is a little on the on the large size for a pet, but but yeah, they they definitely would make for very nice pets. 
Which is probably why it won't happen. So the general is usually somewhere in the in the corner if I remember correctly. No, the general guarding the powder, because what well, you need a general to guard the powder. Instead of, you know, a guard. Yeah, I, I see your attack. And I'm just trying to power through it. Yep, I did. <laughs> it is enjoyable to, to do silly things like that. It's not that recommended. It's not wise, but it is very enjoyable. Well, just to see how far you can push it. Hello, Sin. Now that I have so you have your ingredients. Because this Sin is the same as the other Sin. Very convenient. Well, not all games do it that way. No, they don't go as far. And then you really have to go to the specific instance of the uh, of a character to actually hand in a item. Well, sometimes it's just good for logistics. Sometimes it's just annoying. Uh, could be. No, wait, that was why we were for the. Yeah, actually, it is. Yeah, I, I for a moment I thought Corby was mine, but um, it's not. So that's good. So we could go uh, downstairs because there is an exit there, but instead, of course, we have to uh, save Ozun. And all the time I always go to the vendor after doing that area, so I implicitly hand it in and choose a site with um, whatever her name is. So the the new armor vendor that replaces the, the previous one, that replaces Kira. But of course, since we're gonna kill Kira, that, that's no, not really all that helpful. But I should actually have a chat with Tasuni this time, just to see what I can get from him. Make him the leader of town for a change. I don't think it's gonna matter in any way, shape or form, but... Let's see, name support, ancestral protector, Ooh, bubble, bubble is good, don't find too many bubbles. And I have backtracked back to the start, haven't I? Yes, I have. Like, so I went to the right side, I went to the to the left side. That means it's on the top side. That's a process of elimination. And that has corpses. Nah. Additional magic items. Sure, let's do that. So once again, someone got my golem. You monsters. Stop doing that, poor golem. Didn't do anything wrong to you. Okay, tried to kill you, but... Wow, well, you're doing the same to me. Hubris, one ring. Oh, uh, wait, actually I have that one, so I don't really care about replacing it. Energy shield gained for each enemy hit by your attacks. I wonder, all the projectiles from shield throw could actually help uh, could actually work with that no something like that i suspect no ethereal knives has a a similar thing though that's a spell of course this is an attack no tomato shot uh, if you're playing an archer with some energy shield i guess that could work I mean, normally if you have single target skills, then that really doesn't help you. Also doesn't really help you against bosses, of course, because most of the time there's just the one. So oh, then rather than no, hitting like five or ten enemies, it's just the one. So then suddenly you get three whole energy shields per hit, which is a little underwhelming. Now 15 or 30, and then no, multiple times per second, that, that works better. Okay, 
No ei mitään jäts. I did explore a little corner there, because it feels like I'm, I've actually reached uh, an edge here. That's obviously not going to be here because there's an exit here. Usually the exits are more spaced apart. So then it actually has to be in that little, little corner that I skipped. Because it's always in these corners that you skip. That's no damn the rules. It's always the last place you look. It's always the corner you skipped. Especially if you didn't even realize there was a corner to skip. And indeed, Shrine of the Winds. Hello. Uh, hello. Yay. Go, go on. So we'll just uh, lightning trap you. Do some uh, speedy attacks here. Blind you a little bit. Okay, now standing in the middle of a wind circle. Just trying my best to tank it. Ooh. You are surrounding me with enemies. I like that. That's actually pretty good for my life recovery. Also, kind of killing my golem again. First time I'm actually doing this fight from within the... From within the Tempest rather than from without. Oh, thought it was gone already because I saw loot, but she's still here. Oh, come on. And again, this fight isn't really a DPS check. My love. It's actually, that's not the one about. It's mo not really a DPS check, it's mostly just no multiple phases and an endurance test. I shall find you in but endurance is something we got here. Chance to evade attacks if you've taken a savage hit recently. Um, I think I'm actually pretty happy with my chaos damage reduction still. So, whoever gets the feather will rule Highgate. Does it actually give me you know, uh, any information about uh, the, the pros and cons of choosing between one or the other? That's no. Oh, if you're gonna do politics, you should be informed. No, before casting a vote, be informed, rather than accidentally casting a vote. That that's this is just such a bad example. The nightmares are but whispers now, yet like prophets, cowering within crevice and crack, they speak of old gods return. And the reprisal of an exile to a beleaguered land. My sister Kira has grown obsessed with the vulture of the wastes, our goddess Garukan. Kira has taken Oyun and plans to sacrifice her, imagining she can reforge herself as a red Sakema, a warlord destined to unite the Madaketh under her bloody banner. My sister's betrayal is too great for forgiveness. Like a rabid dog wandering the mountain pass, she must be put down. I ask this of you, for you are familiar with such barbarism and will not feel the pangs of mercy that I would. On her person, I suspect you will find Oyun's royal mandate, the Sakema Feather. If Kara truly wishes to take the throne, she would need such an item to be considered more than a simple usurper. Bring it to me for safekeeping. And please, return our Sakema or Yun to us, if you can. If she still lives, that is. But don't risk your life or hers. For I know her mind. She would not want that. That's ulterior motive. are lifting at last. Hand in hand, you and I, we have guided my people towards a brighter future. I suppose you wonder why I do not mourn? For my sister, for Oyun, why should I? There is no sense in shedding a tear for those who stand in the way of progress. They have passed from this coil, and that is the best thing either could have done for their people. With our poor Sakema removed from a saddle, the way is clear. In lieu of a worthy leader, I shall step up. And with the backing of my followers, 
claim the throne of Highgate. Irasha may spit and curse, yet her duty shall overcome her distaste. She will bow to the one who bears the feather as high custom dictates. I'm inclined to just keep that feather for myself. He doesn't sound like a worthy leader. On the other hand, well, skill point is a skill point, so I guess he can rule. Okay, so I actually made some, some pretty darn good progress here. We've got uh, the Bleed Wheel, we've got Crimson Dance. Um, there is the uh, journey up to Soul of Steel. There's some, some life and some armor in there. There is, of course, the uh, journey to the Templar area for the extra Endurance Charge, as well as the uh, Devotion life. Which is pretty darn juicy. There is an Indomitable up here, which is pretty good for armor. And there's a couple of jewel slots. And I think I'm actually just going to grab this one. This one has some decks leading up to it. It's always nice to get a little bit more decks in a build that is a little decks starved. And then... I think I'm actually just gonna make this a slightly longer than the usual Anything episode and we're actually just gonna wrap up the, uh, the boss fights as well. Ooh, that's a decent chunk of life. Not kinda, not really the base I want, but Black. the life is solid. Uh, and we had that jewel, jewel, jewel. Yes, jewel. And, oh wow, we have an even higher tier, man. Four tiers of nets, that's a little gratuitous, if you consider that we did no act four and five on the same set of nets. So this is act nine and ten and the first three tiers of maps. Then here you have act uh, nine and ten, or yeah, X9 and 10. And then the first five tiers of maps. This one goes uh, up to tier 10. And this one is for all the maps. Okay. Spacing is a little off there, but well, not complaining too much. So, hello, Mr. Sin at uh, the quarry. Open up that one. Belly of the beasts. Because this was, in my recollection, this was always a pretty quick run. Especially, you know, most of the beasties here are abominations rather than beasties. So, no. Can't be captured, so that makes life easy. Level 63 area, I'm still 67, so I'm only four levels above. Still good for my experience, gain max XP here. But it also allows me to no, just, again, no, just rush through a little bit just to get to uh, the goal. Oh, hello there. And go back. Wait, we'll take your essence and nice concentration of monsters here. The, now the, the the three nightmares they are pretty pretty doable. And then the, the fight afterwards, I've yet to experience it as difficult on any of my fight, my characters. Nope, maybe this is going to be the first one. Maybe this is just going to be the place where we finally meet some challenge. Oh, hello. I don't recognize you, but you're going to die anyway. Oh. Drool ball. I think they were supposed to kick in during the fight rather than 
being a little bit of a aftertaste. Okay. And of course, this is going to be one big puzzle, right? Because that, of course, would be my luck. Now well, let's try and do this quickly, and then you end up stumbling through labyrinths for 15 minutes, whereas normally you more or less just run straight to the exit. Okay. Ooh, hello there, Iron Grip. A little bit of a damage bonus before we continue. This is a... Uh, Feels like a rather large area for what it usually is. Oh, one. Yes. Thank you. Okay, yep, this leads forward. And there we have it, the rotten core. This area is often pretty short. So just like the you the walk into the uh, the area usually is in Act Four. And there is the black core. Just the way we left it. Okay. Bring me the portals. We are gonna go for two E3 first. What do I really care about slaying those portals? I don't. Just kill some of the beasties. And then we just slash through them. Hello there, yellow. I'm trying not to shield charge into any of the terrain features because it's always difficult to untangle yourself from those. Look at that damage floating my way. Wonderful. Wow, my health bar actually moved. Well, I'm permanently cursed here, right? So, wait, yes. Uh, I got a Stip Night Flask with Curse Removal. That's, uh, of course, allowing me to keep the Curse Removal up. Hello. That is one Malikaro. You had this thing for spiders, so yay. Actually capturing a new spider. Nice. Oh, another one. Survivor. You are well prepared for the end. Okay. Another just a, a yellow. Yep, got it. I think. You have been captured. Yep, yeah, I did. You will be a survivor, or you will. Be I have to stay out of the pretty purple spinny thingies. They look like they hurt. And look, it's another yellow spider. This one is captured. I oh. now will take it. That's a match pressure. I have no idea why I have this one outlined in white actually. Ah, oh, this is one of the uh, endgame tier shields probably. Oh, hello. You have a ghost on your, and you are one type I don't have yet. That is just a double bonus. Ta-da. 
You will be a survivor. Also, once again, they killed my golem. I probably... <laughs> it would probably be useful to just have that golem set on a... Cast my damage taken uh, timer. So it just automatically renews itself. But, no, I'm just so stocked up on gems that I don't think there's all that much space for it in the build. Let's see, level 64. So with all these spires and things I want to capture, this is actually a slightly slower run than the other one. But it is worth it. Oh, hello there. Ghostly Maligaro. Ghostly Garo. Where are you? There are you. Ah. You're creating copies for me to hit. I don't mind. Boop. Gone. Uh, yep. That one also can do with a level up. And then misery is gone. And then we go to sorrow. I don't think Shovehon was really all that fond of beasties. It's more the... Uh, yeah. Mechanic spiders. I see a rare, I saw a ghost, I don't think that we're gonna meet, so I'll just take care of the rare. And then we'll take care of uh, the ghost, if I have the time. Yep, I actually do. Marvelous. You are gone as well. Also feels like my speed here is higher than usual. Ah, it's the uh, frenzy charges. They of course trigger from the uh, blood rage. And there we are, one chevron. Oh, you do mostly lightning damage, not physical. Therefore, of course, more difficult to resist it. You. Seriously. You're putting in quite some effort here. But it was in vain. But see. Oh, cookie for effort, so to say. And then, sin, we are happy. And we now have fun with the Trinity. And just in case something goes wrong, actually just putting up a portal here. And then we have a fight with the all three together. Hello. That's another one of those fights that has the boss going in and out of the fight. It does reduce the potency of things like lightning traps. Also, actually no, uh, of course the uh, monster phase does allow me to recharge flasks. So, that's a little less troublesome. Okay, yep. Oh. yep. Not the self, just actually remember to keep using my fortify from time to time. It's good for reducing my non physical damage. Okay. And there we are. Oh, I must say. 
this is probably one of the tougher fights. Or, yeah, funny enough. Oh, a character that is relatively tanky, but elemental damage is still difficult to deal with. Even though I am maxed and actually a massively overcapped on lightning, so even if it got reduced some way, that should still have been alright. But Oh, uh, maybe there was some, some chaos in there. That could have been, because of course there is the Maligaro aspect. Good to see you still kicking. And then we set sail to Oriaf, where we will of course day. have an uh, opportunity to uh, murderize Kitara for a second time. And all that good stuff, but... First we of course are gonna go, on, go through and do all the side quests, that includes the final trial. And then the episode after that, we do the Merciless Lab, and then it is Kitava O'Clock. Because doing it the other way around only makes the Merciless Lab more difficult. But that's going to be for the next time. For now, I'm going to thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.